All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again. My name is DJ Dizzy. I want to go ahead and share with you today on importing and exporting your input and output settings. Now, what you'll go ahead and do is you'll go up to Setup, you'll click on the I.O., and you can apply this to uh, your input, your output, your bus, or your insert settings. Um, say, for instance, I like um, how my buses are set up. I usually have mine labeled already, and some places you go to, it's not labeled, so maybe you want yours labeled. I'm going to go ahead and go Export Settings, and it's going to allow me to save um, wherever I want to. I can save it onto a drive. I can save it onto my desktop. Let's say um, I'm going to save it to my desktop. We're going to call it um, Dizzy Bus um, Settings right let's say io setting all right and we'll save that to the desktop and that's it and now wherever i saved all that i can now pick up at another session and now say for instance i get into this studio and um i don't i just i don't like how they have all their input and output set up I can go ahead and now bring in my settings, and this is how you would do that. You would go to Import Settings, and I would find where I saved it. So, for instance, I would have saved it onto a drive, not my desktop, but I would say my desktop, I'll click on that, and then I click Open. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll go ahead and open it for me. Okay, after that's done, I'll go ahead and press OK. And now all my settings for my buses are now applied to that. Uh, like I said, you can do that on your input, output, buses, or inserts tabs within that I.O. box. Um, if you have any questions, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and leave them in the comment box. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Like and share this video. Tell your friends about it. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thank you.